Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 Beta Edition and also the Cinnamon desktop environment on the left hand side here versus Kubuntu 22.04 on the right hand side here. So a little bit apples to oranges with the front end desktop, uh, which I'll get into in a moment, but they are very uh, both popular uh, distros in their own rights. So starting off with uh, Linux Mint on the left hand side, it is running on the illustrious uh, Cinnamon desktop environment. Nice clear cut one there, just beautiful as it is, uh, very popular. And on the right hand side, Kubuntu, uh, as you may guess, is running the KDE Plasma desktop environment. That's where the K in Kubuntu comes from. Now, uh, basically, uh, oh, just, just first of all, these are actually both running on uh, the same back end. So they're both running on the Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release. Always good to perhaps keep in mind or know about there. Now, when we jump across to the, the file manager, I mean, it is much of a muchness, but uh, I do tend to like the look and feel of the Dolphin file manager here more. I mean, we've got dark mode by default, nice color icons, those sorts of things. Uh, but on the left-hand side, we're using the Nemo file manager. Still a great file manager. I mean, I just like to right-click and open the terminal, and that keeps me pretty happy. But we do seem to have a lot of options here and a lot of things that we can do on the uh, Kubuntu side. Now, uh, let's jump into the back end and uh, see what's happening today with this. Now, we should see some similarities here. So the kernel is uh, both 5.15 uh, for each of them because it is both running on the Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release there. And uh, let's see, last but not least, we'll take a little bit of a peek at the, uh, the, the, the RAM and CPU usage on boot ups. These are both basically booted up from scratch. Nothing else is loaded in the background, uh, although do take these values with a bit of a grain of salt. But uh, on the left hand side, we're running at about 670 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 21 Cinema Edition. Bear in mind, again, it is beta. Uh, it's not fully released yet. And on the right hand side for the Ubuntu, we are running at oh, almost exactly the same, 674 megabytes of RAM. So I would like to say they are pretty even in terms of what they're doing there. So you shouldn't need to take into account this depending on your type of hardware, at least from a, a RAM on boot up perspective there. But that's pretty much it guys. Uh, just a super simple quick video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.